So you read the title right. I had my first kiss when I was 27 years old. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into the psychology of that because that's a whole other video. I'm just going to tell you the story of what happened and how it happened. So I matched with this girl on a dating app. We'll call her Anna. Um, and we went on a date and it was a really good date. Um, she seemed pretty interested in me and um, she just, she was really nice. She was just super nice. She was just, uh, had a genuine interest in me. And I know that sounds kind of like, oh yeah, like that should be obvious. But the thing is most of my dates, the there's no real connection so even ha having someone have a genuine interest in me in, like interest in me is pretty novel honestly on most of my dates so surprisingly like things kept on going well like we just kept on going on more dates and the thing is i definitely have like anxiety when it comes to like just physical touch kind of in my mind i didn't think unless i was in a serious relationship with someone i shouldn't be doing any of that, any physical touching or anything. But at this point in my life, I was like 27 years old and I still haven't done anything. So I knew something had to change, right? So I was doing something wrong, definitely. But I definitely would take things really slow. Like she invited me over for a movie um, and we ended up just, you know, like cuddling and watching the movie, which is super nice, which even for me, that was pretty new experience. And then we started holding hands a lot. And then um, I would always hug her, but she was an awful hugger, horrible hugger. Then she wouldn't even like try. And honestly, with a lot of the physical stuff, she didn't try. It was just kind of me going for it. And she just kind of let it happen. It was kind of funny. At this point, we were already going on dates for like a month now. And I knew I had to kiss her even though the idea of kissing her like freaked me out. Like I just had a lot of anxiety. I knew I had to do it. So we're coming home from a church activity, of course. And um, she invites me in and it's just me and her. And honestly, now looking back, I should have I should have kissed her by the third day. This is like the seventh, eighth, ninth day that I don't even know. But yeah, all literally we're just like sitting on the couch just like talking and it's obvious like I should have just kissed her but honestly I was just freaking out way too much I was like should I do it should I not do it like how do I do it how go do I just go in for it do I ask or whatever so after like 20 minutes of me like freaking out just on her couch her roommate walks in with her boyfriend and that's when I knew like I like missed my opportunity I couldn't do it um, and I was really just like disappointed in myself, honestly. I knew I should have just done it at this point. Um, and then we just started talking with her roommate and her boyfriend and they, how they were just coming from their date and they just seemed so happy together. And I was like, man, like I should just gone for it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just super disappointed in myself. Really, really being pretty rough on myself, honestly. So I'm on my way out, honestly. I'm almost like out the door and just gonna call it a night. But I decide that, you know what? This is gonna happen no matter what. I just need this to happen now. So I kind of turn around and walk back and just hang out another like 15, 20 minutes there even though I kind of already said goodbye. It's kind of awkward. Then I kind of said goodbye again, and then I told Anna, hey, come outside <laughs> with me. <laughs> oh, gosh. The night before, because I knew this was going to happen eventually, I was watching, like, YouTube videos on how to kiss or, like, how to do a first kiss. And it's usually, it was just, like, videos of, like, teenagers doing their first kiss, so it felt kind of, like, weird me watching it as a 27-year-old. But one of the techniques that I learned from one of the teenagers was that like, like putting your hand like by your chin kind of, and then just going in for it. So I was like, okay, that's my game plan. So I look at Anna, and I just put my hand near her chin or whatever, kind of like this, and then just kind of like real fast, like touch lips real fast. And I just like 
speed to my door. I don't even know if I said bye. I don't even know if I said goodnight. I don't remember. It's all a blur, honestly. I get in my car and just like start hyperventilating, honestly. And that's the, the that's the kind of the sucky thing about it is that um, in hindsight, it was a horrible kiss, awful kiss. I mean, it was just a peck. It was just like whatever. Um, but because of the anxiety, so much anxiety I had, I didn't even like even enjoy any of it, obviously. Um, so I just get in my car. I'm like calling my one of my friends. I'm like, yo, I actually did it. You know, I'm, I got it over with finally. And then I just drive home. And Anna, she texts me that night. And she texts me that she had a great night and she was super happy. So I guess she was happy with the kiss, even though really she was being really nice about it because it was a horrible kiss. It was an awful kiss, honestly. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. Um, I waited a little while to share it because I wanna say I was a little bit embarrassed since I was 27 years old to get my first kiss, but everybody moves at their own pace, right? But the important thing is I don't have nearly as much anxiety about it and I enjoy kissing now. So it's much more nicer uh, when you don't have anxiety. It's much nicer. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and hope you um, have a great day and stay safe out there. Thanks.